Today's project is a line painting. Supplies that you will need to finish this project are paper and tape, a pencil and some line design ideas, paint, water, towel, and a messy mat. Step 1. Use tape to divide the paper. I'm using some washi tape to divide the paper I'm using into five, uh, six different sections. I don't show taking the tape all the way to the edges of the paper to wrap it around. I do that in the cutscene. There's my six sections for step two to use the pencil to draw the line ideas. And my line ideas are up there in the pipe cleaners. And I'm going in rainbow order starting with the red line and making straight lines. And now I'm doing the orange line to make a wavy line. I want them to all go in the same direction. So I'm going to get rid of that one and replace it. Next up is the yellow line for zigzag lines. And then the green line for a spiral. And this one, I'm making a spiral look like it runs off the edge of the paper. So it adds a little bit of more visual interest to my picture. So everything's not perfectly centered. Next up is the thick line, the blue line. I'm going to hold my pencil sideways to make that line look a little bit thicker. And then last up is the uneven zigzag line that's purple. I'm going to complete this pattern all the way down the edge of the paper, the section of the paper from top to bottom. There's a better look at the six sections of lines. For step three, use paint to paint the lines. Um, again, I'm going to go back in rainbow order and using the red paint to paint the red straight line, orange paint to paint the wavy lines, yellow paint to paint the zigzag lines, green paint for the spiral, I'm going to go over a few times to make that green a little bit darker. That's not dark enough for me. So I want to put the few spirals in there first. I'm using a watercolor based paint. So the uh, more water you use, the lighter the paint will be. But the more paint and the less water, then the darker the color will be or the stronger, the more vibrant. So I'm going over it one more time with less water, but more paint. That'll make the colors look brighter. And I'm going to do the thick lines in blue. I'm go over it the first time. A little bit of a little bit more water, so it's going to be a little bit lighter. And to make sure that that blue really stands out and pops, I'm going to have to go over it again with less paint. I mean, excuse me, less water, more paint. Whew. Really want those blue lines to be thick and bright and I want the, the negative space, the white spots of the paper to be really thin. And then for the last one I'm going to do the purple uneven zigzag line. Gotta wake up the paint and it went to sleep. Just like with the yellow zigzag line, I'm holding my brush at an angle so I'm dragging the length of the brush along the length of the line. I'm not trying to paint this whole thing with just the tip of my brush. And I'm not trying to paint the entire line in one stroke. I'm breaking it up into little line segments. You can see I go up and down. I'm pulling it down and then up and pulling it down and then pulling it up. That helps me get those lines just right. Don't forget to sign your work. Thank you for watching. Good luck in your artwork.